We were in the waiting room of a bus depot in Arizona. I understand you know a great deal about plants, sir, I said to the old Indian in front of me. A friend of mine had just put us in contact and left the room, and we had introduced ourselves to each other. The old man told me that his name was Juan Matus. I pick plants, or rather, they let me pick them, he said softly. I liked his smile. I thought that obviously he was a man who could appreciate directness, and I decided to boldly tackle him with a request. I told him I was interested in collecting and studying medicinal plants. I said that my special interest was the uses of peyote, which I had studied at length at the university in Los Angeles. I thought that my presentation was very serious. I was very contained and sounded perfectly credible to myself. The old man shook his head slowly, and I, encouraged by his silence, added that it would no doubt be profitable for us to get together and talk about peyote. It was at that moment that he lifted his head and looked at me squarely in the eyes. It was a formidable look, yet it was not menacing or awesome in any way. It was a look that went through me. I became tongue-tied at once and could not continue with the harangues about myself. That was the end of our meeting, yet he left on a note of hope. He said that perhaps I could visit him at his house someday, and never in my life had any human stopped my momentum so swiftly and so definitely as Don Juan did that afternoon. I became thoroughly intrigued with that stupendous look and decided to search for him. I prepared myself for six months after that first meeting. I became acquainted with every work available, and when I felt I was ready, I went back to Arizona.